open your eyes All I see is paradise Give me your ways right now I need to test you can sweet my heart Me wanna look in your eyes And say now nah, open now I wanna hold you tight From the morning till the night Oh, oh, oh Andy, Andy, when you touch me All I can see is your love Put it on me, want your body Oh my baby, you're amazing Andy, Andy, when you touch me All I can see is your love More you not see, so now I see Me shamu, you go be my babe My babe, be my honey My babe, be my sugar My babe, be my leg Oh my babe, you go be my babe My babe, be my honey My babe, be my sugar My babe, keep it natural My babe Baby, nye mi feke Okwa muna yoke Olo ma chupu ne kosu kwa de na roke I wanna be the only Oh, that you call it darling Oh, what a man got to do To so call you my lady oh, For a million years ago they do The way you move, move I, 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 I like it, babe. The way you move Oh, 
Oh, Imo State. Oh, one na one ne. Oh, one na one ne. Oh, one na gaje ke one ne. Oh, Imo re na ngobia. Ah. Bye. Oh, Imo Pano. Bye. Oh, Imo Pano. Oh, Imo. Abo lende. Abo aro Imo. Oh, Imo Pano Pano. Move your eyes. Move your
perfect angel of my life. For the love I have is so real. How can I be your Mr. Right? Baby, what I feel is so strong. If I, if I, if I, you are the apple of my eyes. If I, if I, if I, oh no, I'm gonna love you till I die. Oh, Lolo, baby, Jawa, I'm thinking about that day. It will be just you and I. Bichi <laughs> Sukuna fugo, suku a gozi gomo. 
see as you smooth like silk Your voice like milk Heaven lost an angel when you came to me You're so amazing baby, I have to say it twice This love you give me so and I don't really My name is Christina Emmanuel Today is my auntie's wedding My name is Princess Jesus Alpara She's, she's like a mother to me. She's caring. She's got caring and strong. Very hardworking. Today, I pray as you're starting this journey of life, God is going to be stressing you, struggling with you. All the good things of life that you the blessings that will come to marriage, you shall have it. Amen. Right, my name is GJK. Hope I don't have a Today, indeed, is my day. Long awaited day, and today the Lord has perfected it. I am happy to be married to the man of my dream, who the Augustine Amateur. I love you wherever you are now. I know you're dressing for, you're dressing. I love you, like I called you, my peace of mind. Indeed, you are my peace of mind. Can you know I love you? Rest alone cannot tell how much I love you. Thank you for coming my way. Thank you for choosing me to be your wife before the church and the world today. When you waited me at the cross, you showed me love and I said indeed I love you. Forever, I will always love you and cherish you. Thank you for choosing me. My prayer for my friends, I'm using a very good normal confidence that you can have. Neka Ogu as a point of contact. I pray as this door of marital breakthrough have opened, so will it open unto you all in the name of Jesus. I stand to celebrate with you all this year, from this very month, from this very day, 30th of September. It's a celebration for you girls in the name of Jesus. Now, I miss you. I wish you were here. But don't worry, very is here to change you up. Thank you. I'll meet you at the office. I love you, sister. Um, how do you want to take it over? Yes, I'm using the gospel Yeah, indeed, the day I've started so bright is bright a little. The Lord promised us his brightness and he has given it to us. So I pray from this moment to the end of the vacation after church, you'll be coming from here for the traditional celebration. I pray that the day will be indeed a standing one. There will be no shortcomings, the intent of entertainment, or anything that will be done today. It will all go well. And I pray that all that will come from Parane will go back safely, sound, filled with joy in the name of Jesus. Everything 
and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her, so long as you both shall live. Yes, I will. In Jesus' name. Say it louder. Yes, I will. In Jesus' name. Amen. And let the congregation say, Amen. 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 Sister Chichiuke, will you have this man, Brother Chukuti, as your wedded husband, live together according to God's ordinance in only estate of matrimony? Will you obey him and serve him, love him, honor him, and keep him in sadness and in health, and forsake him all others? Keep yourself only unto him. So long as you both shall live. Yes, I will in Jesus' name. Say it again. Yes, I will in Jesus' name. And let the congregation say, Amen. Woman, to be married to this man. I bind you and cast you out of my marriage. 
In the name of Jesus. Every power of the spirit spouse upon my life. I command you to die. I command you to die. In the name of Jesus. I renounce every ancestral marital distress, disruptive carryover, evil pattern, spiritual marital certificate, and evil spiritual children. I renounce you by fire in the name of Jesus. It is written, every tree, every tree not, planted not planted by God shall be rooted out. Therefore, I approve and destroy all evil spiritual relationship and force against me in the kingdom of darkness, in the name of Jesus.
wedding, this celebration will be done for you too. You want people to gather together and celebrate it? Jump up and shout hallelujah! I want you to dance very well in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah!
In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. I refuse to come to this world in vain. I refuse to come to this world in vain. Right now, let the heaven of the world be open. And it's a prayer for you to appear. With everything in your capacity, come and deliver it. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Jesus, name we pray. You may be comfortably seated. It's a pity many people don't know what marriage is all about. A lot of people did not prepare for marriage. They just packed their blind on back, they enter into their matrimonial home, started living together as husband and wife. And they call it marriage. That is not marriage. That is not marriage. You need to understand what marriage is all about. You need to understand what marriage is all about. In the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22, says, He that findeth a wife, findeth a good, and obtaineth favor from the Lord. He that findeth a wife, he that findeth a wife, he that findeth a husband, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor from the Lord. Your husband is a good thing. Your wife is a good thing. So don't see yourself as enemy of one another. Good things come from the Lord. It is the Lord that brought you together. You need to understand one another. What is marriage? Marriage is a relationship of two people. Husband and wife. A man and a woman. Not boys and girls. It's not for boys and girls. What is marriage? Marriage is a covenant that binds three people together. Covenant of relationship that joins three people together. Number one, God, the husband, and the wife. God is more interested in your marriage more than you do. Praise God. So you need to understand what marriage is all about. What is marriage? Marriage is a relationship of faithfulness. Hello. Marriage is a relationship of faithfulness. If you are not faithful in your marriage, you cannot be fruitful. For you to be, fr for you to be fruitful in marriage, you need to be faithful. Your faithfulness determines your fruitfulness. It's a pity many people are not faithful. That is why they are not fruitful. Marriage is a relationship of oneness. That is why the Bible says two shall become one. They are no more two. They are now one. It's a relationship of oneness. It's not a secret court where you be hiding things from one another. The other time, one man was, was telling his wife, swear, if you are not the owner of the house where we are living and I'm paying 350000 I got 300,000 or 350 every year to you. And you say you are, you are, you are giving the money to land it, landlord. Not knowing that you are the one collecting the money. She's the one that built the house. And then she packed to the house with her family and her husband. And every year her husband is paying 300,000. So the husband said, I will go to our bodies. And I will collect things that will kill you if you lie. And the woman now confessed. So marriage is not like that. Marriage is a relationship of openness. It's a relationship of oneness. You must be open to one another. You must not hide secrets from your partner. What is marriage? Marriage is like a abaka leke rice or opada rice. You know how abaka leke rice looks like? It's full of what? Eh? Stone. There is no way you will remove the stone before you cook it. By the time you finish cooking and you start eating, you will still meet stone there. If you meet stone there, will you remove the, the, the stone alone and pour the rice away? Hmm? You will still eat the rice. So marriage is like that. Whatever you see in marriage, just accept it. You don't say, I will pour it away, I will destroy it. Because you are making stone there. Marriage is a relationship of two people that are not compatible. 
Hello. <laughs> Two people that are not compatible. Why? You are coming from different parents, different backgrounds, different upbringing, different training, different training, different education, different environment. Your partner is also coming from different different parents, different upbringing, different training, and you want to come together. It will take time before it works. And what will make it to work is both of you. You don't wish a successful marriage. Say, I wish to have a successful marriage. No. You don't wish it. You work for it. You are the one that will make it work. And sometimes, some of us will be blaming ourselves in marriage. Like one woman. One woman who read one of my books, 22 Pillars of Successful Marriage. After reading the book, she started crying. She called me. After reading this book, I started crying. Say, why are you crying? She is all about. Before marriage can work, it will take time. Marriage is not a relationship where you'll be beating one another. You'll be beating one another. No. It is only a madman that will be beating his wife. A godly man will never beat his wife. And let me tell you, if you are beating your wife, you are going down. Women are not to be beaten. Women are to be decorated. Women are to be beautified. And when you are beautifying your wife, your life will be moving forward all the time. If your wife is happy with you, and you want to go and get contract, your wife is happy with you. Your wife is praying for you to get that contract. But if your wife is not happy with you, you beat your wife black and blue before you went out to get contract. The way you left, that's the way you come back. Empty and dead. Why? Because somebody is not happy with you. I pray that the Lord will bless your understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. And it's not only men, it's not only men that beat wife. Even some women are beating their husband. One couple came to me the other time. I was talking to them. It was the man that first come. The man said the wife used to beat him. And I faced the woman. I said, Madam, is it true that you normally beat your husband? I said, no, I didn't beat him. I just gave him back hand. The Lord will have mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. If you know how to fight, why can't you? Why see that it's your wife you, you want to be fighting or your husband? Why can't you go and meet Anthony Joshua and fight at the, at the Joshua? I pray that the Lord will bless your understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. Marriage is like a table tennis. How many people play table tennis? Two people. One person can play the head away. You see the person that plays the head the way that will go and pick the head? No. Huh? No. The other man. So the other man should have said, you are the one that plays the head the way. Go and pick the head by yourself. The marriage is telling you that marriage is full of insult and result. If you don't take insult in marriage, you cannot enjoy the result of your marriage. You must accept insult to get the result. That is maturity. What is marriage? Marriage is an institution with matriculation without graduation. Are you getting it? Marriage is what? It's an institution with matriculation without graduation. Marriage is the only school where you get the certificate before you start the school. Marriage is the only school where you, you don't choose the subject you like. You say, I love this subject. I don't like mathematics. No. You, should, you, you must like everything. Marriage is the only school where you don't go on holiday. No vacation. You'll be there forever. I pray that the Lord will bless your understanding. What do you do to have a successful marriage? Number one, is for you to live together. What do you do? Live together as husband and wife. Don't divide your room. Don't separate your room. Don't separate your bed. And you have to start living together from now. Live together. Even if you have a baby, some of our women, once they have baby, they will abandon the man. They will focus their attention on the baby. It's only the man that will be sleeping in the room. Sometimes if they want their baby to sleep with them, they will put the baby in between them and their husband. Their husband will now face the wall. You don't allow your husband to face the wall. If the baby wants to sleep with you, let the baby face the wall. You face your husband. 
What the Lord has done together, let no baby put us on earth. Don't separate your room. We must live together as husband and wife. What do you do again? To build a successful marriage. Pray together. They say the family that prays together, they do what? To pray together. Pray together as husband and wife. And when you are talking about prayer, there are three types of prayer that can be going on in your family. Number one, personal prayer. Number two, family prayer. And number three, corpus prayer. So these three types of prayer must be going on in your family regularly. You must have daily relationship with God. God must be in your marriage. What do you do again? As husband and wife, learn how to cook. Learn how to cook. What is the best food of your husband? Amala. Huh? Eva. Eva. So look at. Ekusi. Ekusi soup is very simple to cook. To learn to cook. Not only the woman that should be cooking, even the man should be cooking. Should you learn how to cook? You see, last week, last week or two weeks ago, we celebrated the women in the church. All the women in the church must not do anything in the church. They must not do anything at home that day. The cooking, we are going to market. All the men, boys and the men in the house should go and do it. They should give the woman in the house. They should say, just that day to celebrate the woman. Women give back to everybody in life. It was women that gave back to president, gave back to governor, gave back to lawyer, gave back to doctor, gave back to everybody. And then we was happy day to celebrate them. They put in the church. We celebrated women. Like to celebrate your wife. Once in a while. And we bought special gifts for women. I pray that the Lord will bless your understanding. Some people will say, women love money. What do you want them to love after God? So, learn to give money to your wife. If you want the beauty of your wife to be coming out, learn to give her money. If you give your wife money regularly, if you call your wife once, she will answer you seven times. You don't give your wife money. Don't give her money. Instead of your wife to call you honey, she will call you monkey. <laughs> Instead of your wife to call you sweet she will call you sweet rat. <laughs> Why? Because you refuse to give her money. Give her money, you will see beauty coming out. Let me tell you, you may be handing 100,000 naira, and your wife will be handing 100, 1 million naira. The way God created them, we, from that 100,000 naira collected, she will still be demanding for money from that. On the court. You are collecting one million naira, collecting my, I'm collecting hundred thousand. Your own is ten times greater than my own. I'm collecting one percent of your own. You still need to give her money. That, I didn't come with my books. I will have given you the book, one of the books. Read my books. What do you do? To build a successful marriage, learn to be domesticated. Learn to be domesticated. You need to, your house must be neat. Dress very well. As a woman, don't dress shabbily. Because men are moved by what they see. Dress gorgeously. Dress very well. And if you want to give your cloth to people to sew for you, don't give your cloth to carpenter. Give your cloth to don't give your cloth to capital. Don't give your cloth to tailor. Give your cloth to fashion designer. Because there is a difference between tailor and fashion designer. And if tailor wants to give, give you, no, if you give your cloth to capital or tailor, they will just, they will not be able to sew the best for you. And they will sew cloth that will drop your shape. Cloth that will not bring down to your shape. Please dress God justly. Dress nicely. 
they take care of. Give back to children, you can adequately take care of. Don't give back to thousands. Don't say, and the Bible says, my children shall surround my table. Go and reduce your table. Tell the carpenter to help you reduce your table. Don't, don't. No, people are no more constructing big table again. One, two, three, four. Want to give back to plenty children in, with the situation of our country? If my father gave back to 12. You are not your father. Cut your coat according to the. No, according to the measurement of the cloth. If your, the, the cloth cannot sew up and down, use it to sew top a load. If you cannot sew top a load, use it for one month. Yes, to train one child. If you now have plenty of children, five, seven, eight, how many do you want to have? Ten. You will use all the days of your life to train them. Don't you know that some, some, some parents, they are using their pension to send their children to school. It's not good. When they are supposed to uh, relax and be enjoying their money, the work of their labor, the reward of their labor. They are now spending their money on their children. Give back to children you can adequately take care of. Don't give back to thousands. Two, it's okay. That one, you don't want that one. Three, you are okay with that. Hey, this one I want to give back to seven. Three, mba. Four, mba. Five. Mba. Six. Mba. Seven. Mba. Eight. This man. <laughs> going to twelve. God will deliver you. You cannot be wayward. You will not cry for sorrow. Amen. You will not regret for coming together. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. Heaven will surprise you. Amen. Your marriage shall be fruitful. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please rise to your feet. Arise. Arise and visit me by fire. Visit, visit my marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus. My father, arise and visit me by fire. Visit my marriage by fire. Visit my marriage by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, powers are trying to torment my marriage. Powers are trying to torment my marriage. Da, da. In Jesus' name, we pray. Offering. As we are giving this offering, let poverty die in our lives. Amen. With this offering, we shall not be put to shame. Amen. In Jesus' name.